Hey now, Collective, it's time for the daily progress reading. How's everybody doing out there today? I hope I, this, this video finds you all well. Wow, okay. I just had a mass of cards pop out here. So I'm going to kind of, I'll take the top and then reshuffle. I've got the Knight of Wands popping in here. Next card out is the Seven of Swords in the present position. Let's see what else we have going on for you here. I also have a Seven of Cups. Okay, Knight of Wands, um, you guys have had a message coming in. I've uh, been doing some readings for you, obviously, every day. Um, and I know that we had a new project coming in, and then we had some, I think, uh, for some of you, there was some obstacles and restrictions that had come in. So you're getting a message here, and I really feel like this has to do with um, that particular project. Yeah, I'm getting clarification here as well. So we have the Seven of Swords. You guys, um, you guys feel restricted here. I feel this is an outside obstacle. This is not something necessarily within your control here. Um, I feel like with the Seven of Cups in the future position, you are being called to see past the illusions here. Like somebody is, this is an outside obstacle from what I'm hearing. Okay. Uh, this has to do with like business or something like that. And it's somebody, <coughs> excuse me, that is not, how do I want to say this? Thank you, spirit. It's somebody that's being lazy. Okay. And not wanting to do like their job that's creating this obstacle. Like there's more to it than what's being seen. And you're being called to see past that illusion here. Um, I see that you've been working really hard here. Okay. You've been focused on the work. All right. And, um, yeah, I feel like there might even be somebody that's doing this on purpose, okay? Uh, because they do not want, for whatever reason, which is part of their journey, okay? They don't want you to succeed here. Um, for some of them, I feel like they're being triggered by what you're doing. It's something that they either wanted to do or it's a topic that has triggered them into kind of lashing out in a really passive-aggressive way. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, let's get some clarity. Let's find out <clears throat> what your challenge card is today. <laughs> Probably dealing with that person here. I really don't believe it's a mindset issue at all. I really believe that it is something external and it's somebody external. Okay, we've got focus number 33. So you're being called to focus in. Notice the arrow coming in on point here, on target. Um, that is your challenge card today. Let's get some answers for you concerning this challenge. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for our collective today? Sorry. I get, get, get this. Ah, there we go. Okay, we've got the three of spring coming in as the answer to that challenge. Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Okay, so in regards to what I'm getting out of the situation here, um, instead of like letting this situation with this obstacle become your focus, um, just get in there, deal with the situation, be on point and recognize that your, you know, your concern should be the long term here, not the short term. Okay. It's not about fighting every battle is what I'm hearing. Some things you just have to like, let go and just not, it's not worth your time is what I'm hearing. Okay, get into your community. All right, do something within the community. Get around some good people so that you can remember that there's good people out in the world. Okay, if this is happening within your community, remember that everybody has a life journey and we are called to be healers, right? We are called to spread light when uh, to people that need light. So, you know, compassion goes a long way. Maybe that person doesn't even realize what they're doing. Okay, 
That's what I'm hearing. Ace of Pentacles, this is an opportunity for you to offer an Ace of Pentacles that has been offered to you. Okay, the divine is giving this opportunity to you as well as that other person is what I'm hearing. Okay, so you need to kind of spread the wealth is specifically what I'm hearing. And it's it's spiritual health and wealth here. Like if you can be in a position and, and um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting information here. It's about asking the right questions. It's about asking the questions in a tactful manner, like saying something like, oh, well, geez, I understood it to be this way. Is that not the case? Or asking a very targeted question and, I, and, and I'm hearing to do it with gratitude, like preface it with like, thank you so much for your time and energy. Make that person feel valued in that situation. Okay, you're being called to be mature and level up here. Okay, yeah, spread that Ace of Cups here. All right, that heart chakra is lit, right? So go about this in love, okay? Your confirmation is the Ten of Pentacles here. It's a community thing. This is a community atmosphere thing I'm hearing. All right, and the point is to, you know, bring everybody into that Ten of Pentacle energy. Right. We're supposed to go out and light people up, you know, no matter what the situation is, we're supposed to shed light, spread light. OK, but I hear it's about a, an important question. This is the person that I'm getting like they don't even know what they're doing. OK, it's somebody that has not been awakened to their themselves yet. OK, so um, that you know, in itself is the opportunity. Okay. But again, it's about focusing in on the right question to ask in the right way to where you're shedding light without being like, see, look what I, you know, look what I did. It's more about you're, you're actually getting their brain to start thinking in a different way without even letting them know you're doing it. Right. Take the ego out of it. And I feel like I'm being led to tell you that that person, um, you know, is going to be an integral member of your community if you handle this well. Okay, like their growth is going to help you grow. So how are you going to decide to deal with this? Um, we've got your health card as children. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me to help children. Okay, so it's about being a helper, bringing in that energy. Uh, I've also got caffeine free coming out. Dear Archangel Raphael, I ask that you cut my cords of attachment to caffeine so that I may honor my body's natural energy rhythms without chemicals. There's lots of ways to get extra energy. You could stand and do like 25 jumping jacks, get the blood flowing. Okay, do some breathing exercises if you're feeling low on energy. Okay, caffeine will, will um, lift you up. But because it's a chemical, eventually there's going to be a crash and it is really not great for your body. All right. Your quote to meditate on. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were to live in equanimity, free of hatred and attachment. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings had happiness and the causes of happiness. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were free of sufferings and its causes. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were never separated from the happiness of higher rebirth and liberation. So you're being called out here to do this with the highest good in mind, not only for yourself, the situation, but for that person and the collective as a whole. Okay, again, that Ace of Pentacles that came out was for you as well. The way you handle this situation, you might... Um, I'm hearing you might save a spiritual life here. Like you might, it's, it, this could save this person's life. I mean, starting them on the road to self-awareness in a gentle way motivates people to keep going and keep learning. Okay. So collective, I hope this has been helpful. Take good care of yourselves, take care of each other. And as always be kind out there.